I'm Sean Bose, concert visual designer in Los Angeles, California. And in this installment of the Resolume Quick Start tutorial series, we're talking about advanced output. By the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of the advanced output and how to use it to map an LED stage. First, let's take a high level look of exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it and define a few terms along the way. So we have our normal 16 by nine content, but we have a stage design with a bunch of different LED screens of different shapes and sizes. To do that, we're going to use the advanced output. First, we're going to create a bunch of slices that represent the different parts of our LED stage design. Then we'll rearrange them in our output map to match the arrangement of the pixel map. This is the arrangement that the LED processor needs in order to know which slice to send to which screen. Then we're going to rearrange those in our input map so that they sample different parts of our 16 by nine content. To demonstrate, I'm going to use this stage design from Wasteland, a festival that I performed at a few months ago. Let's jump into Resolume and try it out. All right, so we are in Resolume and we are going to go to the output menu and select advanced. That's gonna open up our advanced output dialog. You'll see there's two tabs, uh, the input and the output. And we're gonna start in the output transformation. This is where we're going to set up our pixel map and all of our slices. So under output guide over here on the right, we can load our pixel map. So we'll select that and load that in. And we can bump up the opacity a bit so we can see what we're doing. Now we need to create slices for each of these five stage sections. And to do that, start over here with the default slice that's already created. Now we have all its properties in this panel over to the right, and we can modify all of these numbers to match what is in, uh, what is labeled here. So you can see we have left zero, top zero, width 360, and height 936. We just change left and top to zero and it pops into place. To add a new slice, we just click this plus button over here and hit slice. And that will add a new slice. We should label these SR wall. Now let's make the center wall. You want to name them to match so that uh, if you're ever referring to these with your LED tech or something, the, the names match up and you're speaking the same language. There's actually an easier way to input all of this data. You can just type it in. So let's try that with the center wall. We can just start typing 370, 0, 576, 936, enter you'll see it snapped right into place perfectly. So that's awesome. For our stage left wall here, uh, the specs are pretty much the same as the stage right wall. So we can just right click and duplicate, rename it. And now we can go over here and just change this left value. Now you might have noticed uh, on the pixel map, this one is labeled X and Y, and I'm typing that into left and top. Uh, that's just a difference in naming convention in Resolume. The X and Y values listed here actually refer to the center point. Uh, but I know from looking at this that uh, these numbers actually refer to the top left point. So that's why we're uh, changing those instead. All right, let's keep on going. We'll create a new slice and this one's going to be called 
SR curve, stage right curve. And once again, we can just type things in. So 1326, space 0, space 504, space 360. All right. And then we can duplicate it again for the stage left version. And this time, we just need to modify the top value. All right, so our output map is all set up. Now let's move on to the input map. So our output map is arranged like this, uh, basically to tightly pack all of the slices into a single 16 by nine output. So let's see where we're at currently. If we were to play some content and take down our opacity. You can see right now the entire clip is being played in each slice and it is being stretched and squashed to fit inside the aspect ratio of all these different shapes, which is not what we want. And it's doing that because our input currently has all of our different slices sampling the entire visual. And then when it gets into the output side, the entire visual is being fit inside of each of these different shapes. So what we want to do is make each of these slices uh, reflect the shape that is uh, being output that would make more sense. So we're going to shift click to select all these in the list, right click on our slices and just select match output shape. Now you can see all of our slices are now the same size and shape as they were in the output. So now if we go over to the output, you can see that our content is not distorted anymore, uh, but it doesn't really make sense because this output uh, for the pixel map, this arrangement of slices is designed really for efficiency, but this isn't the shape of our actual stage. So our content doesn't really make sense like this is our center screen but like our center of our visual is over here like off on the right side so we need to fix that and that's what the input map is for on the input map what we're going to do is rearrange all of our slices to match their physical orientation uh, in, on our stage design so to do that we're going to take our stage left curve, put that down here in our stage left wall out to the side of that. And we have really nice snapping features. So everything kind of tucks up next to each other. And uh, we can take our stage right curve and control click to select multiple slices it's not what we want we can zoom out the scroll wheel spacebar to pan around and this is kind of more our arrangement uh, but we want to fit it to our content so we can snap it over, shift, drag the corner to scale it down, and then just uh, drag it around until it snaps into center. And now you can see this makes a little bit more sense, right? We have our center screen centered on our content, and our stage left and stage right 
or off to the sides, picking up the side of the content and uh, our little curves that are in between. If we go to the output, it might not look like it makes sense here, but that's okay because our LED processor is going to kind of do the opposite. It's going to take this nice centered screen and send this to the center screen. It's going to take this and send it to uh, the left and right. It's going to put these down in the middle. So it'll kind of unfold it to look like this again, which is exactly what we're looking for. So now our input map is mostly set up, but this stage design actually has kind of a curved pointed church window type shape for the center and stage left and right screens. So how can we create uh, a shape like that that's not a rectangle? To do that, we're going to use masks. Resolume has a few different options for creating different non-rectangular shapes. Under the Add Items menu, you can see there's a few options. We could do maybe a, a polygon slice, or uh, there's this option for creating different types of output masks. But the option we actually want is called an input mask. And to do that, you uh, select a slice, and in the options and properties over here, at the bottom, there's this uh, input mask menu with all these different tools you can use to create a mask on your slice. And you can choose one of these sort of preset shapes that might help you out, or you can uh, use this pen tool to create your own. And that is what we are going to do. So we will click on that. And it says click to add points to shape, double click to close, or press escape to cancel. Uh, so we're just going to click around in our slice and start making our shapes. But this is all straight lines, and we need these to curve. And we can do that by changing our point mode to a Bezier curve. And then that gives us these handles that we can use to create our curved shapes. And we can use precise values to make sure that this is centered, or you can use your arrow keys to nudge. All right, it's looking pretty good, and we'll do the same for our stage left and stage right wall. All right, again, switch to Bezier curves. Bezier, Bezier, Bezier. All and this is the type of stuff you're going to want to tweak and dial in on site. And since these walls are symmetrical, we can go ahead and paste our mask. And just move it over. All right, so that is how you map an LED stage using advanced output inside Resolume. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and come back later for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.